Hi, welcome to phase 3 of data science learning. Earlier we discussed about how to start with Excel, how to execute basic statistics in Excel. Also we talked about one great programming languages out of two which is R or Python. And we saw how to practice those two programming languages on Anaconda. And this phase will help you to close in the gap to become a data scientist. The next thing that you wanted to concentrate is exploratory data analysis in Python or R. Best place to find data sets to practice is Kaggle. And you can find exploratory data analysis examples in there. Before you move on to next step, I want you to practice at least three to four exploratory data analysis and get used to summarize the data and visualize the data in Python or R. Also in parallel with that, you need to get exposure or familiarity with two BI tools. One is Power BI, another one is Tableau. You can select any one of them and go through the trainings available on YouTube. These two tools will help you to do your exploratory data analysis faster. As I told you earlier, most of the data science teams will have data analyst team, engineering team and data scientist team. The data analyst team will use one of these BI tools to visualize their data. If you wanted to become a data analyst in the data science stream, whatever we have learned so far is enough. And the next steps will help you to become a data scientist. To start with, just revised basic statistics in stage one or phase one, where we learned about sampling distribution, normal distribution, hypothesis testing, t-test, g-test and ANOVA. Learn about hypothesis testing thoroughly. Most of the guys fail to explain null hypothesis. When you're working on null hypothesis, pay more attention towards true positives, true negatives, false positives and false negatives and how to identify them or segregate them correctly. That ends the revision part of it. Let's get onto first machine learning algorithm. Maybe start with linear regression. I know you guys might have practiced linear regression in Excel in the phase one. Understand what is linear regression? What kind of data it needs? What kind of output it gives? How it will help the business? What are the business applications of linear regression? And also learn about data again. How to handle the data? How to, how to handle missing values? How to handle outliers? How to normalize the data? And what are the assumptions that we need to check? How to validate them? How to do a feature selection? Next step is how to build the model, how to validate the model, how to improve the efficiencies of the model, and how to deploy the model. Deploying model is very critical part, guys. Try learning starting from data handling to model deployment when you are learning any kind of model at least practice two to three linear regression models pick one simple one to start with and and increase the complexity while working on those two to three models also see what kind of business scenario you are working what kind of data it is how it relates to that business once you understand the business while working on linear regression model that is going to feed into your memory and sit there for lifelong. In the process, as you understand the business scenario behind this linear regression model, try to think about your business, the work that you are currently doing. If you can apply this linear regression at your workplace, as I told you earlier, the organization that you currently work for is a great place to learn data science because you know the business of it. My tip here is don't move to learn too many models before you practice at least two to three models of linear regression. It not only provides complete understanding about linear regression, but also provides the issues or runtime issues that you get while working on any kind of model. So when you start learning other models, this experience will help you. I'm going to leave the links of playlist that you need to follow to learn this machine learning algorithms. You can follow them or you can follow any of the machine learning playlists that you are aware of. But always remember, without practice, you are not going to feed data science algorithms here. Only with the practice, you are going to become a data scientist. And the practical experience gives you to move ahead of the group. So practice, practice and practice. Now, in the next phase, we will see how to solve practical problems of data science algorithms. But you have plenty of work to do. I'm not going to give you any timelines over here because data science learning is ocean. 
it's going to take a lot of time but to start with if you can work on linear regression logistic regression and classification models i think it will give you a start that's it for today guys happy learning data science is a art be passionate about it. good luck